Lovely viewer, we've been talking science all this while. We explain science as an organized body of knowledge acquired through inquiry or investigation. We also looked at how inquiry is done. We said science inquiry is achieved through scientific methods. Then we saw some applications of scientific concepts and principles in our everyday activities. I am Edward Asantia Kufu, your presenter. Now, when we say branches, which organism comes to mind? Good. Plants or trees, right? We can liken science to a tree with lots of branches. But before we start today's lesson, let's look at the objectives for today's lesson. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify the differences between pure and applied science. State the sub-branches of both pure and applied science. Name some renowned scientists in Ghana. Back to our example. Science could be likened to an entire tree. Trees have two systems. Namely, the root system and the shoot system. Now, science also has two main branches, pure science and applied science. Now, let's look at the following scenarios and see where we can situate them in the different areas in science. Let me answer the very first one. Then you do the rest. Animals grazing on the field. That is biology. Which of these areas on your screens can be considered as pure science or applied science? Before that, let us explain these sciences, that is pure science and applied science. Pure science has to deal with the discovery and formulation of new facts, laws, and theories. It consists of three areas of study, namely biology, chemistry, and physics. Let us explain these branches of pure science briefly. We start with biology. Biology is a science devoted to the study of living things and how they interact with their surroundings. The living things here are plants, animals, and microorganisms. Biology has sub-branches, and these are botany, zoology, microbiology, genetics, ecology, etc. Now, let us quickly explain these sub-branches of biology, starting off with botany. It is the study of plants in terms of where they are found, how they grow, and their uses. Zoology. It is a study of animals in terms of where they are found, their structure, and their mode of lives. We now turn our attention to ecology. It is a study of the relationship between living things and their environment. Genetics is the next one to look at. It is a study of heredity and variation among living organisms. If you consider the definitions treated above, the common words that runs through are plants and animals, which are living organisms. Let us look at another branch of pure science, which is chemistry. It is the study of the composition, properties, and structure of substances, 
and the changes they undergo. The sub-branches of chemistry are namely organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, and physical chemistry. Let's concentrate on organic chemistry now. Organic chemistry deals with the study of compounds that contains carbons. The German chemist Friedrich Wuller was the first to make an organic compound. Now let's turn our attention to inorganic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry deals with the study of all elements other than carbon and its compounds. The Russian scientist Dmitry Mendeleev discovered that element properties depend on their atomic weight. Now let's look at physical chemistry. This deals with a study that is concerned with the theories, laws, and experiments that describe the behavior of chemicals. A Scottish by name Thomas Graham is founder of the physical chemistry and explained how gases mix with each other. We shall quickly look at what these various sub-branches of physics deals with. Even their names will tell you which energies they deal with. They are heat, light, sound, mechanics, electricity, and magnetism. What then do we say applied science is, is the next question. Applied science is the application of facts, laws, and theories to matters of everyday living. Some of the fields of applied science include engineering, pharmacy, agriculture, medicine, geography, forestry, environmental health, geology, physiology, astronomy, meteorology, horticulture. Now let us look at some renowned scientists in Ghana and elsewhere. Now the first on the list is Professor Frimpong Boatin, a specialist in cardiology, which is heart surgeon. He set up the cardiothoracic center at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. We also have Dr. Felix Konote Aholu, a scientist who succeeded in the knowledge of sickle cell, meaning he performed a lot of research in that area and came up with a lot of discoveries. We also have the late Professor Mariam Erama Adi, a biochemist whose area of study was the biochemical method for pollution monitoring and scientific basis for local medical plant effect, what is local medicine. There is also Dr. Victoria Adobiadonko. She introduced postgraduate to the new area of environmental photobiology and ultraviolet radiation effect. We also have Professor F.K.A. Alute, a physicist who has contributed a lot to atomic physics. Now, in summary, we looked at the branches of science, that is, pure science and applied science. We explain pure science as the science that deals with the discovery and formulation of new facts, laws, and theories. We gave examples as biology, chemistry, and physics. Then we looked at the sub-branches of each. We explained applied science as the application of facts, laws, and theories to matters of everyday living. Then we looked at the sub-branches of applied science. Finally, we looked at some renowned scientists in Ghana and their contribution to the field of science. All too soon, we've come to the end of this session. I know you've been educated, but I want you to address your minds to the questions and the notes 
and let me know if you have any challenges.